heard the phrase before, click it or ticket. We all know what the or ticket part of that means. Well, it's back with increased emphasis as we head into the holiday season. How TechStop hopes you'll help save lives. When Houston Newsmakers continues. Parenting from home, working from home, and socializing from home make it tough to keep up with new developments and the reopening of our communities. That's why, in addition to our newscasts, website, and social media channels, we also deliver news through newsletters, making it easier to find the top things you need to know at the beginning and end of your day. Customize the news you get from us by going to click2houston.com slash newsletters. KPRC2, here for you. Chandra had family issues and a substance abuse problem. It got so bad, my kids had to live with my father. Star of Hope cares for more than a thousand homeless men, women, and children every day with food, shelter, spiritual growth, and long-term recovery programs. I got my children back and became closer to God. Now I have a job and a nice home. The face of homelessness has changed. We have another chance at life. Star of Hope, ending homelessness one life, one family at a time. KD Furniture is the only stuff you need for your best night's sleep. And now, when you spend $499.99 or more on a mattress, you'll also get your choice of free shipping or free microfiber sheets or free pillow or a mattress protector. Order your mattress contact free online at katyfurniture.com. Visit our showroom on the Grand Parkway or the Clearance Center in Katy for more great deals. Visit Katy Furniture and you'll never pay retail again we can make that happen definitely this looks great we'll bring it and have getting through the morning meeting in one piece uh, feels good then realizing it's payday that definitely feels good all while keeping the kids busy and the clients happy you're unstoppable with a wells fargo checking account you can bank without missing a beat it is something most of us do every time we get into a car or truck. We buckle our seatbelts, of course. We do it because it's common sense. And being restrained in a case uh, our vehicle is in an accident, it means that a safer outcome is likely for us. But we also do it because it's the law. And while most of us buckle up, almost 10% of Texans don't. And during the upcoming holiday season, it could get quite expensive as the Click It or Ticket campaign kicks into high gear. Here to remind us of why it's important on so many levels and the cost for all of us, Deidrea George, the Text.Public Public Information Officer for the Houston Division. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So most of us know the importance of, of buckling up. Um, but for those who aren't, talk about this Click a Ticket campaign. We've seen it before. Now you're ramping it up. Why so? Yes, so we are actually in our 18th year for this campaign, and we like to think that we are doing some great work. Um, we know that when the campaign started, seatbelt usage was at 76%, and now it has increased to 91%. Um, we can never say enough how important it is to make sure when you're in the vehicle to make sure that you are buckling up. And we know that uh, obviously, all of the research shows that when you buckle up that you are much more safe as a result of it. During this clicker to ticket time, does this mean that officers are going to be um, issuing tickets or are they going to be giving uh, warnings or a combination of both? Or is this program their warning and if they get caught, they're going to get a ticket? Right. So it's a combination of both. There is a specific campaign that begins on November 16th and it will run through November 29th. And basically law enforcement will be stepped up. There will be more officers out on the roadways and the highways and they are specifically looking for those who are not buckled up and they will be issuing tickets. So I want to let people know about some of the, the statistics of this. We know seatbelts work. 925 of traffic related deaths last year in Texas and involve people not wearing seatbelts. 44 yes. deaths in Houston, along with 103 serious injuries for people not wearing seatbelts. And a reminder, a ticket costs $200 for every adult who's not restrained, and that, that goes up to 250 if you have a child who's not restrained. And that kind of makes sense, because a child doesn't have any responsibility, but if he's sitting in your car or truck without a seatbelt, then you can expect to pay $250. 
Exactly, exactly. And we think that $200, $250, that is, is just chump change versus a serious injury or a fatality. So we would yeah. prefer to give you the ticket so that we are stopping you and making sure that maybe that habit, you now have a habit to uh, a reminder to buckle up. So 45%, the death reduction of 45% if you're in the front seat of a car, 60% mm -hmm. if you're in a pickup. And I've read the danger goes up if you're in a pickup truck because it, it tends to roll over a little bit more. What else is important about this campaign? And what do you most want drivers to know as we go into this heightened uh, level of awareness about this campaign? Five seconds. It takes less than five seconds to buckle up. And also, we always want to remind them to make sure as soon as you get in the car, buckle up and stay buckled up the entire time you are in the car. We hear story after story of people who have lost their lives because they have unbuckled at some point in their car ride, whether it's to take a selfie, whether mm. it's to in the car and in those few minutes a crash happens and they lose their life so we just want you to remember stay buckled up the entire ride yes law enforcement will be out during this time but we are working to save lives it's mm -hmm. not about giving tickets it's not about having you pay these fines we're really just trying to protect you so uh, you, uh, all of that is really great. That's one big initiative. You have another initiative as well called the Safe yes. Drive Smart Initiative. And that's really important because all the time we see people who are working on the sides of the roads, and I see people speeding, speeding, speeding. You've got a program in place now to really help remind people they need to be wary of that as well. Talk about that. For yes, that is our move over slow down campaign. And it was actually a law that was passed in 2003 and it applied to all emergency vehicles on the side of the road with their emergency lights on. And basically what it's asking is very simple, move over or slow down if you see an emergency vehicle on the side of the road with their emergency lights flashing. And I understand that the, the, there's, the fine for that is even more hefty than a $200 fine. Yes, so it actually can range from 200 to 2,000 if there is bodily injury involved. So that basically means if you hit someone, unfortunately, that is tending to a stranded motorist or picking up debris off the roadway or, or issuing a citation while they're doing their job, if you hit them, that fine will increase. All right, I wanted people to be aware of the 2,000 part. You're being nice. It's 200 to 2,000. I want people to remember, hey, $2,000. That's what it yes. could be. Ms. George, yes. thank you so much. Thank you. Good no luck problem. on this Clicker to Ticket campaign in the weeks ahead. I note that at the bottom of, of your text dot releases, that is a reminder, the last traffic fatality free day in the state of Texas was November 7th of 2000. Of yes. 2000. That's a reminder. Two years. Yeah. We got to do better. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank Just, you. Just